Maybe you here because you need to hear this here. Maybe you here because you need to dust off your dreams. Maybe you need to explore your imagination. Maybe you just need to identify your gift so you can get so you can quit tripping in your own life trying to figure out what you can do when God already implanted inside you a long time ago. I'm telling you, man, I took these $25 jokes and I turned them into a lifestyle. You can take this God-given gift that he gave you and stop thinking of how to make a million. Just go make $10 and do everything 10 times as hard. Now, it's going to be hard. Understand that. It's going to be very hard. But you ain't got nothing else to do. Because let me tell you something about being not successful. Being not successful, that's really hard, too. So you might as well apply yourself to something that has a benefit. I'm telling you, that's how you make a million dollars. Never wait on the right time, because the right time ain't ever coming. All that, I'm gonna get my ducks lined up in the row? No, you won't. No, you won't. Because as you have aspirations, you gotta understand that the devil understands your aspirations too. The devil's job is to rob you of your destiny. So that will always be an obstacle. So if you're waiting on the right time, you'll never make the move. You have to go. When you are trying to get to the next level and you can see where you're trying to get to, there is a ceiling that you have to break through. But in order to get to the next level is because you can see what you want to become. But the only reason you can see the next level is because this ceiling is made of glass. In order to get to the next level, you must be willing to break through the glass. Anytime you break through glass, you are going to get cut. You are going to bleed. See, devil, he only, he only has one job, to rob you of what God intended for you to be. That's his only job. So he has a lot of people that work for him full time. They're called haters. And <laughs> they at work all the time. And you all experience with them too. And so what you got to do is, when you have these ideas of greatness, you got to go forward. Because it's not going to be a right time. Just go. Just go. Go jump. Take a chance. Every successful person I know has jumped. When you jump, it allows your parachute to open and you to sail through life within your gift. But when you first jump, your parachute don't open right away. That ain't how it works. If it opened right away, everybody would jump. When you first jump, you're in an uncontrollable fall. It's almost like you're spinning out of control. But you got to stay with the jump because eventually God will put the necessary air up under your parachute and you'll be in the air like you're supposed to. But you're just going through the process. Like I tell my kids all the time, it take a long time to make a lot of money. Look, man, identify that God-given gift and get to pursuing it. I had a partner when we was growing up. All he did was cut grass. I'm talking about he cut grass every day. $2 for the front, $2 in the back. But boy, this boy was talented. He had one of them push lawn mowers with the single blade on it. He was so good, he could take the blade, lower it, and raise it. He could cut patterns in your yard with a push lawn mower. He could put your initials in your grass. You know how big that was in the hood? You get a W in your damn yard. This boy was $2 for the front, $2 for the back. He didn't go play with us nowhere. We going to the swimming pool. Now nah, I got cut Miss Jackson grass. Hey man, we gonna go to the little uh, school dance. Now nah, I got to get up in the Maryland. I got, I got cut Miss Stanley yard. We used to laugh at it. A grass cutter, grass cutter. This boy today in Cleveland, Ohio, he got a landscaping company. You know how much this dude grosses every year? Four million dollars. If you could think of how to become a millionaire, you do it by Friday. You don't have to go that far. All you have to do is think of your God-given gift. All of you have the ability to make, you can charge, all of you can do something somebody will pay you $10 to do. I don't care if it's cutting grass, doing their hair, painting a wall, babysitting, uh, taking care of the elderly, teaching, tutoring. Everybody can do something for $10. This is how I got to this place of success. My jokes were $25 a night. 
I made that for a long time. Whatever you do to make $10, this gift that God has given you at birth, because God never created a soul he didn't give a gift to. All of you have one. All of you have one. It take a long time to make a lot of money. If you think you're just gonna make a lot of money real fast, you're gonna be constantly disappointed. It take a long time to make money. I've been in this business since I was 27 years old. I'm 64. Man, come on. Look at what your life, well, you, you looking at now. You missed the three years I was living in a car. You, you didn't see that. You missed when I lost everything I ever owned twice. You missed the two divorces. You missed me flunking out of school. I'm on my third marriage. You would think a whole lot more of me if you knew me when I was living in that car for three years. Cause see what, I, what he turned me into was something I never saw that I, I ain't think I'd ever be this. Oh, it look easy. Yeah, I'll make it look easy. This is hard. Come out here, go, come turn this corner. I'm gonna invite any one of y'all to come up here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Family Feud. Here's Ricky. <laughs> and Ricky, walk your ass around this corner and just do what I do. It's really hard. I don't care if it's frying chicken. Some of you fry chicken better than anybody else, bake pie, do hair something. Do whatever it is for $10. After you make the $10, I want you to do it 10 more times. You'll now have $100. After you make $100, whatever you did to make the $100, that $10 idea, I want you to do it 10 more times. You're gonna have $1,000. Now, it's gonna get a little more difficult, but after you make $1,000, whatever you did to make the $1,000, I want you to do it 10 more times. You now have $10,000. Now, now we gotta focus now. Whatever you did to make $10,000, that started off with your $10 idea, what I want you to do is focus. I want you to do it 10 more times. You now have $100,000. Now, this is where it gets very, very difficult. You're gonna have to hire some people. You're gonna have to pay some people some money. But you take that $100,000 and you reinvest it. And what I want you to do is whatever you did to make the $10 that you did 100 times that turned into $100,000, all I want you to do is take that same idea, don't change nothing, do it 10 more times. I got news for you. You have just made a million dollars. You gotta jump. If you ever planning on sewing, you're gonna have to jump.